Apologize about the wind, apologize about the wind. This is really the first windy day in Denver in 2019. Kind of crazy, so I get to test the wind resistance of this Solomon jacket today. And yes, I, oh man, you're not even gonna be able to hear me. I might as well not even, all right, I'm gonna give you an update up on the trail. You gotta, you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. I'm turning around, didn't even make it to the top of Mount Falcon today. Right in front of me, right here, is probably, I would guess, about a three, maybe three and a half foot deep snow drift. And like, listen, I'm trying to run up here, but it's just not quite working, not quite working today. So we are gonna turn around. Uh, I still want to tonight talk about mental toughness back at the house. But I fully realize, like, listen, we're runners. I'm not a speed hiker. I'm not trying to hike up mountains. I'm trying to run up mountains. Like, listen, look at this snow drift. Like, <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm not like sinking into my waist, but it's probably about, whoa, halfway up my, uh, halfway up my thigh. So we're gonna turn around and uh, come back to fight another day, if you know what I mean. Like. You win some, you lose some when you're training. Like, it's all about that long-term outlook. So I'm gonna <laughs> attempt to jog back down through, uh, through this. All right. Got to film inside the car because, yeah, it's windy again down here at the bottom. Not sure what that's all about. All right, that did not go as planned. I don't even know how far I went. Probably four or five miles, not very far. I was hoping to go at least 10 today. So that's all right, though. In running, like, it's all about that long-term game that I'm always talking about. But my brother and I were actually talking about this this past weekend is not being afraid to break up the volume of running that you're hoping to hit, whether you measure in minutes, miles, kilometers, vertical gain, however you measure your volume of training, instead of looking at it on a weekly basis, think about it on a monthly basis, or even frankly, quarterly. I think quarterly is almost, is frankly pretty brilliant, saying to yourself, okay, I wanna hit uh, 350 miles this quarter, 400 miles this quarter of, of the calendar year, and that just takes a little bit of that pressure off that you might put on yourself when things don't go to plan out on the trails when you hit three to four feet of uh, snow drifts today. Like, that was not a runnable course today uh, overall. And so I had to call it, and guess what? The sun will rise tomorrow. I'll be able to go out a little further tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, supposedly a snowstorm is actually on the way. But anyway, I'm hoping to be able to run tomorrow uh, pretty good because today, and that's like, I'm basically what I'm going to do is flip-flop my training days from yesterday for today because today ended up being pretty easy. All right, I digress. I'm heading back home. Going to get ready for the live stream. Oh, man.
Oh. <laughs> Man. My pity party is over. My pity party is over. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, I have my wife, true love, Bridget, to uh, <laughs> just to vent to after the live stream does not work. Oh, it's like, listen, I'm just trying. I'm trying. I, 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 I'm a creative person. I'm not a technical person. I didn't go to, a, you know, I didn't go to broadcasting school. And listen, I love the artistic side of film production. I love the, the running side of YouTube. I love being creative with you and sharing stories. And I love, like, I'm good at angles and a little bit, I'm pretty good at sound and music so selection. But I'm not good at the technical side. And what really, really is frustrating is that a half hour before the live stream goes on air, it's working. And then it stops working. And then it just freezes. And I get this spinning wheel of death that you see on your screen right now. And it just will not connect well. So I'm not going to give up. 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 And that is the key word is perseverance. The key word for today is perseverance. Because, oh, I'm just, as you can tell, a little perturbed. A little perturbed and... I'm not going to give up though because I'm here um, with you. I'm with, like, and I know you're here with me. And, like, it didn't work. And listen, uh, it's like it really perturbed. It makes me frustrated because you are carving time out of your schedule to sit at a computer, an iPad, a TV, a phone, and just to. Your love is here. <laughs> Good oh, MMs. That's sometimes all it takes. Ah. Oh. And the, I key, love the key you. word is perseverance. Amen. Perseverance with a capital P. With a capital P. This man right here. Oh, we're trying. You're doing, honey, you are doing so good. So. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just had that's to okay, say, that's I was okay. my head out and I was like, yes, never. <laughs> never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Never. It's a revolution. Oh. Honey, it's a revolution. Oh, sorry, it's so tight in here. You can see what my husband is working in, guys. <laughs> Thank you, true love, for the peanut M&Ms. Delicious. Oh, so good. And just one last point. Nothing went right today. Nothing. And that's okay. That's okay. This is part of being human. Things will not go, you know, as we plan all the time. But this morning when the vlog published at 5 a.m., it didn't actually publish. Like, like the view count was stuck at zero for like five hours. Uh, it didn't show up in people's subscription feeds. You probably noticed that. And then today on the run, running through the snowdrifts. Wasn't expecting to run through snowdrifts today. And then the live stream tonight. So nothing really went well today, but that's okay, right? As humans, we got to learn to deal with these things. As runners, we definitely have to learn to deal with adversity because there's injuries, there's uh, bad workouts, there's getting lost in a race. I've done that before. And therefore, the question of the day has to be, what is your go-to action when you face adversity? Whether it's in life, Maybe you failed a test. You know, maybe you struggle in math. That's how I, that was my big, uh, I struggled in math in high school. Like that was not my subject. Maybe, uh, or maybe it's something in running. So how do you deal with adversity? What is your go-to action? Maybe it's sitting down and drinking a hot cup of tea. Maybe it's, uh, you know, calling your best friend. Maybe it's going for a run. Maybe it's hitting a punching bag. I don't know. So anyway, I know that's a pretty open-ended uh, question of the day, but as I am trying to process the day, I'm like, you know what? Maybe YouTube has some insights for me because I need it right now. And yes, we're going to try to persevere today, January 24th, for another live stream attempt. Um, basically, I'm gonna go inside and start researching for the next 12 hours or 24 hours, like why is this happening? Because this is now the second week in a row where it's really been an issue and it should not be happening, right? It should not be happening. So I love you, I gotta stop and sorry today was just uh, whatever. <laughs> we, we made it through, glass half full, let's keep fighting together. Mmm. Man. <laughs> Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Mmm.
See you tomorrow.